Christopher Monday here. We hear people say that they plead the fifth, but what does that really mean? Let's take a look. The Fifth Amendment reads, No person shall be held to answer for a capital, or otherwise infamous crime, unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces, or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property, without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use, without just compensation. This means that there has to be an opportunity for the accused individual or individuals to present their case and defend themselves. If found innocent but it is later discovered that the person or persons who were initially on trial are found guilty there cannot be a retrial of the same case. If there was a retrial on the same case attempting to convict on past evidence with the same crime, it would be considered double jeopardy however, there would be no double the points or Alex hosting. If a person who is serving in the armed forces is suspected of committing a criminal act it is the responsibility of the appropriate branch to launch an investigation and hold a trial. The last part of the amendment is to deter the government from taking land from citizens otherwise known as eminent domain.